Hello there, my name is Ismaus, and today we're going to be making Captain America's shield with procedural scratches. Drag the reference image into your 3D viewport. You can find the link in the description. Then add a mesh curve, go to edit mode and extrude it following the contours of the shield. Now let's work on the star. Add a plane, subdivide it twice and move the vertices to align with the points of the star. You can add a mirror modifier to help you work on the right side while you work on the left side. You might also want to subdivide at different edges so that you can get extra points to pull for your star. Now select everything. Hit I to insert the selected faces so that we can work on the inside star. Now use Ctrl B to bevel the selected edges. If you scroll your middle mouse, you can add extra edge loops into your bevel. Select the middle edges you have added and then push them down so that we get that inset inside the inner star. Right now the shield is too flat, so let's bend it so that we have a convex shape. Add another curved mesh, hit F to fill it, then add a few subdivisions so that we have something like this. We are going to use this object to bend the curve, so let's add some shape keys to this mesh so that we can easily control the curvature of our shield. Now let's add a surface deform modifier to both the star and the shield and select the other mesh as the target. Now bind the star and the shield, now we can play with the shape keys to get the shape you want. Working this way makes it easy to edit the shield and the star without worrying about the curvature of the star or the shield. For example, if you want to edit the star, you just disable the surface deform modifier so that it's flat again and then you can make the changes and then re-enable it to see the final shape. Just make sure to add a few subdivisions to the star so that it bends correctly. Now go to the shield, select the contour edge loops, bevel them using Ctrl B, then extrude the bevels down into the shield. Add supporting loops around those lines so that they look sharper. Every time you add geometry to your meshes, make sure to unbind and rebind your surface deformer just to make sure those new vertices are recalculated or you are going to get an error. Now let's join the star and the shield into one mesh. So add a boolean modifier to the shield and then select the star as a target object. Change the boolean type to union, then hit apply. Our shield topology is going to be a bit messed up so we need to clean it up so that we get nice topology flow. I will be doing this off camera because it's lengthy and repetitive boring work. This is my final topology, now let's work on the materials. I want circular reflections like you see in the shield, so I'm going to use this texture as my roughness texture. If you want to get it, you can search for anisotropic textures and you'll find something similar. I'm adding a color ramp and a math node just to have control over the roughness. I'm also adding another texture just to break up that anisotropic roughness. I'm mixing the two with a math node using the subtract operation. Duplicate this material to use it for the different colors, blue and red then apply it to the respective polygons. This looks good, but we can go an extra step by adding our own procedure scratches. If you don't want to go procedure, you can use the anisotropic texture, get some scratches using the color ramp, but you won't get high quality scratches unless you use a high resolution image, which I didn't have, so I chose to go procedure to get high resolution uh, scratches. So I've added another plane just to test out the scratches as I'm working on them without looking at the entire shield and to distract me from what I'm doing. To create the procedure scratches, Let's add a noise map and then a gradient texture. Use Ctrl T to add texture coordinate mapping to the noise texture. We want to create a smear effect for our noise so that we can extract uh, the scratches from that. So we're going to control the rotation of the noise texture coordinates by using the gradient map we have just created. So I'm using the separate X and Y node because I only need to change the Z rotation. Now add texture coordinate to the linear gradient. And when we change these values, you can see what's happening to the noise texture. Add a math node with the operation of log to have a more pronounced effect. Reposition the noise to get it where you want it to be. Now we can add a car ramp to control how much scratches we want. You can use this as a roughness or a bump map for your scratches. If you want to learn more about creating procedure scratches, Ducky3D has a great tutorial on how to do this. So check out his video, I'll be leaving the link in the description. He creates the scratches from different nodes, so you can definitely learn a lot from him. Now what is left is to add this to the shield and now we should be done. Thank you for watching. If you want the project files, you can find them on my Patreon page or Gumroad page. I'll be leaving all the links in the description.